Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Given teenagers jobs for the first time, I will fire you if you do a bad job. I'm a great boss though. I'm very, very understanding. Do your job well or leave. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome to the wide open road. What does that even mean? This is Roblox and this is gas station simulator. That's right, we're gonna run our own gas station. I think this is my gas station here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. What is this guy, this guy just keeps talking. Hey, then, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. You have a cool car, by the way, very nice, nice ride. Oh, daytime, 6 a.m., walk up to the gas pump, then touch the fuel hose, okay, it, this one, hello? Touch it, oh, okay, got it. What, okay, hold up, hold up. Give me instructions slower. Then touch the fuel lid in the back of my car. Okay, like that? Did I do it right? Hello? No, I didn't do it right. Hold up. Oh, there we go, okay. And then, uh, come on, give me the, give me the next set of instructions. This is my first time on the job, okay? I'm still learning how to pump gas. What do I do now? Is it, oh, I'm making money. Look at this, I'm making bank. Oh, this is glorious. This is fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. It's not, where, uh, what's the, what's going on with that? Oh, he left. Holy moly. He must have sped off real fast. Okay. Construct new buildings? Excuse me? Buy and sell fuel here. Uh, buy perks. Buy money. There's so much. Spawn cars. What do I do with, whoa, I run really fast. Running gas stations is so much more than I ever expected. Uh, what, what, spawn car? Oh, you gotta spend money for that. No, but kinda. I, I kind of, oh my gosh, a $2 million spider? I I have $58. I got a long way to go before I start spawning $2 million cars. What is this? Why? A jetpack? I mean, maybe. Maybe we'll invest in a jetpack. Teleport, where does this take me? Oh. Oh, you can go to other people's gas stations. Interesting, the competition but we need to set ourselves apart from the competition. What is this stuff over here? This is probably stuff that I should not mess around with. Th it looks dangerous. There's there's smoke coming out of this. Yeah, I don't love that. Okay, uh, let's, wait, person, he left. I was gonna give you gas and then you just left. He's probably going to the competition. We can't have that. We can't allow that anymore. We need to do a better job. Let's check out the construction thing here. Oh, we can build oil wells? At our gas station? That's typically not the way things work, but sure. Conrad, can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. Okay, I'm making money. Oh, it does go. I was worried that like the the little you know number gauge thing on the gas pump wasn't gonna actually do anything, but I appreciate this. It's actually uh, moving around. So we made a hundred dollars. We got we got a long ways to go. So we can start getting more gas pumps at 1.2 thousand. That's kind of crazy, but like, do we run out of gas eventually? Does like the gas station run out of gas? I'm confused. Manage. What's going on here? Oh, here's our gas. I don't want to sell my gas. I want to keep my gas. That's a weird sentence. But yeah, like, I don't want to give that up. Okay, so just plop that in there. Okay, so, what what's the shop? Oh, times two cash. No, I don't wanna do that right now. I'm okay with the way things are going right now, but whew, there's a lot to, there's a lot to, to run in a gas station, a lot more than I ever expected. But it's okay, it's okay, we'll figure this out. So I see this gauge going up. Why is this gauge going up? Am I getting gas from somewhere? Oh, is this thing giving me gas? Is this what you are? Hold up, I gotta give this guy gas and then we'll talk about that whole situation back there. Okay, you, you're you good. You're good, buddy. Man, that's some very dark tint on those windows. Hello? Are, are you FBI? Are you like secret service? Are you protecting the president in there? Hello? Th wow, amazing. Who would have thought? We have $191. That's not very much. Just, just gonna say, that's, that's not very much. Uh, is this the sign to our gas station? It does it? Yes! 
Kind like Ian's gas station. $3.90. Do you think we can crank up the price on our gasoline? But then people won't want to come here, right? Like, they'll be like, I ain't going there. That's too expensive. That gas is way too expensive. What would you say? You should connect the gas. Uh, yeah, I know. I know how to pump gas. Get out of here. This is my shop. Don't tell me how to run my shop. All right. So I need to figure out what this thing is. I, I want to. Okay. So th this is in here, right? No, it's not. It's an oil well. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is producing gasoline for us, and then this is actually storing the gasoline for us. So as you expand, oh no, I lost a customer. I'm not very good at this. So as you expand, you gotta add in more storage and whatnot. Ooh, this guy's got an SUV. You know this guy, well, is that an SUV? It's more like a hatchback, isn't it? Yeah, it's not really an SUV. I was thinking, man, that's a gas guzzler right there. This guy's gonna be back in like a couple hours. He's gonna spend. Give me all that gas money. Okay, so let's go to this manage thing here. So you can see we're, we're at maximum gasoline. So like, if I sell it, no, I don't wanna sell all, but like, sell half how many gallons do i have that's what i want to know what's half of the amount of gallons that i have i have 250 gallons okay so let's sell 125 see what happens we make 243 quick bucks that's i mean <laughs> that's pretty good i don't know who i'm selling it to am i selling it to the other gas stations around here maybe that's quite possible i wish that the cars would make noise like are all of these cars hybrids hello like, they're so quiet, and I'm getting hit by a car right now. I just wanted to see what was going to happen. This is what happens. I'm fine. Everything is totally fine. I'm actually a superhero. No problem. Just another day on the job. Okay, so I really want to get to the point where we can uh, build another gas tank or gas pump. That'd be pretty sweet. So then we can get multiple cars rolling up. Ooh, this is, this is really cool. I like this game. So, what do we do next? I think we just wait, but let's check out our, our gas here. So you can make money selling gas to other gas stations, I guess. I have no idea. Or you can make money, obviously, filling up gas tanks in cars. So you have two options. That's, I like that. I like options. Multiple streams of revenue. That's, that's nice. All right, so pump that. Okay. And so like what you could kind of do is go hard in one direction, right? Like you could build like oil wells and get all crazy and start producing tons of gasoline and selling it to other gas stations. Or you could go hard on like the actual gas pump situation and just build a bunch of gas pumps, have people pulling up, loading up those gas tanks, making that bank. You have options, like I said. Or you could like kind of balance both, which might be the way that I end up going, but it's kind of slow going right now, to be honest with you. So here's what I'm thinking. We can buy times two cash. We could buy times three cash. I'm going to go for it because I want to see how big we can make this thing go. Okay. So now we're getting times three, the cash that we used to get. So this will make things obviously move a lot faster. I'm making nine bucks for every tick on the gas pump. Wait a second. Does it up the price on the sign? No, it doesn't. It should. That should be nearly $12. I am disappointed. Everything's okay, though. Okay, so uh, can we sell the gas that we have? Yes, we can. Uh, let's let's sell like 200. 200? Yeah, I think we can get away with that. Now, is this going to give me almost 1,200? What? It literally gave me 390, but I have times three monies. Why am I not getting the times three money? Excuse me, game. I'm incredibly disappointed with you right now. That's okay though, because now we have 1200 gold or 1200K or dollars. They're definitely dollars, right? Which means we can build another gas pump. And I guess, should we do it in a line or should we do them next to each other? I, th I think we should do them next to each other. So now we can start pumping multiple cars at the same time. I wanna see this happen. Come on. Oh, we got our first customer with the new pump. Is he going to the new pump? No, he's not going to the new pump. He's going to the old pump. Trust me, dude, you wanna go to the new pump. It's so much cooler. It's actually the exact same thing, but don't tell anybody, okay? I'm gonna sell this hard because I spent a lot of money putting this pump in, okay? You, you, pull in here, right here. This is your spot. Oh, you're gonna be so happy with the gas that comes out of this pump. I guarantee it. It's the best gas ever. 
Does gas really matter? I mean, I guess like you got like unleaded and super unleaded and mega unleaded. I don't understand all that stuff. I know certain cars can only run on like super unleaded or premium or whatever it is. I don't know enough about cars, okay? I gotta be real with you guys. When I was first learning how to drive, I would avoid pumping gas like the plague. I don't know why I hated doing it so much. It scared me. I thought I was gonna blow myself up, okay? I'm. I, I know I'm a crazy person, right? So like I would actively go out of my way not to take the car when it didn't have enough gas. When I first started driving, I was just driving my mom's car and I if, if she was kind of getting a little low on the gas gauge, I just would like walk to work, which took a lot longer and probably in hindsight was not the smart thing to do and very inconsiderate for my mom because then she would have to pump the gas that I I spent. Man, it's a terrible child. But anyways, now I'm a very successful gas stationer. Is that is that a thing? I own and run a gas station that is clearly making money. Hello, could you drive any slower up to this gas pump? Come on, hurry up. You need to spend your money. Here you go, sir. I'm, there you go. But that's the thing about gas stations. So like, I live in California, in case you guys don't know. And pretty much every gas station, at least every gas station that I've ever interacted with, you gotta do it yourself. You gotta pull up to the gas tank or the gas pump. You gotta get out of your car. You gotta take it off the thing, stick it in the gas tank, and turn it on and do all those doohickeys and press all those buttons along the way. But apparently, there's these mythical gas stations in other states that I'm unfamiliar with where people actually do all that for you. I, I can't believe it. I need to see that with my own eyes. So that's what we're running here. We're running a gas station that does it all for you. Look, do you need anything else, sir? Would you like some uh, beef jerky from the concession stand that I don't actually have? That's what we need. We need beef jerky. We need chips. We need all kinds of snacks. That's that's like the second purpose of a gas station. You're driving on a long, long distance trip, right? You got to load up on those really, really unhealthy snacks. Slurpees. We need Slurpees. Slurpees stat. We could also clean his windows with our feet. That's that's a specialty of mine. Cleaning windows with feet. There you go. You got nice clean windows and a couple of footprints, but ignore that. Check it out, people. We got 1,200. I mean, actually, we have 1,500. So let's build another gas tank. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh, we're going to get three at a time now. Now, this is an interesting little conundrum. What is our gas situation like now? Oh, we're still keeping up with the amount of gas that we're pumping out. So like we have nothing to be concerned about is basically what I'm getting at. We just just keep selling the gas because we're never going to run out, at least not with three pumps. I'll be straight up with you. This game is rad. <laughs> I'm like really, really liking this. I love it. Oh, I'm almost thinking about starting my own real life gas station. That'll probably never happen. But I have a little bit of experience in a video game doing it, which it probably is nothing like the real thing. But we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be like a Costco. Have you guys ever gotten gas at a Costco? It's insane. There's like a billion people waiting in line. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to have the Costco gas station of this world. It's going to be glorious. And then maybe we'll start a Costco. Can we build a Costco right here? People need massive quantities of toilet paper in a bundle. I guarantee it. Everybody needs those giant bundles of toilet paper. We need to provide this service to people. This is imperative. Life changing stuff here. Costco. Oh, you. Hey, there you go. Look at this. Look at the money is just coming in. Oh, I love it. Uh, So we can build more. Do we want to build like an oil well or do we want to build storage? Because we are running. We, we are filling our. Well, yeah, we're OK. I was going to say, like, we're kind of filling our, our gas storage quickly. We're not. That is not happening at all. I think what I'm going to do is save up for another oil well so 2.7 K and then maybe we can start like really selling oil or gas or whatever it is I don't know I don't, what's the best way to run a gas station I, I imagine most gas stations do not pump their own oil <laughs> like there's a lot of process going through from getting oil out of the ground to gasoline at a gas pump 
They like a lot of stuff has to happen before that happens, but we're doing it all right here. Amazing, unbelievable. Should we hire a worker? We have the option to hire a worker. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's do it. So, oh, oh, he handles a gas pump. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man. Okay. Well, what are we at as far as gas? Let's sell. Let's sell 200. Take it. Give me the 390. Easy cash. Okay. So we can do some more construction and we can build an oil well. Ooh, should I do it or should I not? I don't know. I don't really know. Oh, I got to get this guy going. Here, get you. There you go. All right. And then you got this. Good job there, Sonny. It's his first job. Yeah, I'm helping out the community. <laughs> giving, giving teenagers jobs for the first time. I will fire you if you do a bad job. I'm a great boss, though. I'm very, very understanding. Do your job well or leave. All right, let's, <laughs> all right, everybody's happy. Everybody's having a great time. There you go. Get your gas and get your gas here. And you better work hard. Great job, kiddo. Keep it up, champ. All right, here comes your second customer. Excellent. Okay, we got money. We got money to spend. I just don't know what to spend it on. That's the thing. I mean, the gas storage is filling up, eh, you know, relatively quickly, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel like the real money maker is the actual gas pumps. That's, I mean, that, I, I think that's the way to go. So let's just start building more gas pumps. We've got a full line here of four of them. But what we can do is we can start adding in gas pumps like this. And actually, I think that it's probably better to finish this front line first because the cars are closer, right? Maybe? I don't actually know, but I'm going to go for it. So now we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six pumps. That's magical. That is fantastic. I don't know if I can manage all these, to be honest with you, though. This is kind of scary. Ooh, I don't know about this. I might need to wait. What'd you say? Did you? Is there something wrong with your pump, sir? Is there something wrong here? Look at this. I'm making $26 per tick. That's amazing. That is fantastic. But what I was going to say is that I might need some more employees. But remember, they're taking 40 bucks from me every hour and hours go by real fast in this game. So uh, that kind of worries me. Maybe. I mean, this kid's doing a great job. Keep it up, Tommy. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, we've got a very, very slow driver here. See, look at this guy. He pulls right up and then I get him his gas. This guy taking his sweet time. You're, you're costing me money here, sir. Here, let me wash your windows with my feet, of course. That's the premium service right there. You're welcome. Oh, hey, no, no, come back. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh no. Wait, no. I, I know. I know what to do. I know what to do here. There you go. All right. Doing a great job. Okay. Everybody's happy. I hope. I hope everybody's happy. Uh, you know what? Actually, now that we have all these pumps, no, we're still not running out of gas. I thought that we would be running out of gas a lot faster. We are absolutely not running out of gas a lot faster. Hey, no, don't leave. Wait, did I already give you gas? Maybe I did. Happy customer. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Whew. This is quite a job. You know what I'm going to do? I, I want to do some exploring. So I, I as an experiment, I'm going to hire workers for every single pump. This could be a bad choice because I mean, think about this. We're spending $40 per hour. So that's $120 per hour to get these guys working. <sighs> And I'm going to do one more. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to get this guy. So these four are going to do good work. I don't know if we're still making a profit, though. It's hard to tell. There's no like there's no graphs here that are explaining, you know, what what our economy is looking like. I'm going to sell some of this gas and then I want to go a little bit like exploring maybe and actually let's build another oil well we've got just enough so let's build an oil well right there and then that should start filling up our gasoline storage much quicker and so while we're uh out exploring we can still sell our gasoline although oh these guys aren't getting pumped you know what let's get workers for all of this i'm going for it i'm going all in on the automation okay you guys are doing great. The boss is going to go camping or something. I don't know. I want to see what this radio tower is up here. 
to the radio tower. And while we're making our way over there, we'll we'll just periodically we'll sell what we got here. Hopefully we don't oversell. It doesn't look like we're losing gasoline. We're definitely gaining gasoline very quickly. So we'll just continue doing that, raking in that cash. But ultimately, ah, what is this tower up here? Ooh, can we go for a swim? Just hanging out at the lake, do some fishing while our boys are doing all the work at our gas station. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, what? What is happening? I'm going for a swim, sure. Why not? Look, I'm a dolphin. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist myself. All right, get, get out of the lake, you weirdo. We're going to the big old radio tower? I want to go to the top of this mountain. My gosh, how do I run this quickly? It's incredible. Okay, so am I making money? I, I mean, I think I'm making money. It's it's really hard to tell, to be honest with you. Let's keep selling this gas, this extra gas that we have. And I mean, it looks like the numbers are going up. They're obviously going up right now, but then you have to account for every single hour we're spending like 200 and I don't know, money, math, all that good stuff. So it goes away, it goes away, but does it come in quicker than it goes away? That's the question. Can I get in here? You guys gonna let me in? You're not gonna let me in. I can't get into the radio tower? That's very rude. Do you know who I am? Oh, 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 mm, that fence was broken. <laughs> very nice, okay. Can we climb? Oh, to the top of the radio tower, <laughs> because why not? Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this view. Hey, I got a badge. Sweet. I'll take it. Where's my gas station? I think mine is right over there. It's that one. You see it right there. Because, yeah, because we had to swim across the lake. Wow. This is just a big old circle of, of gas-making millionaires. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of weird. There is a tunnel. Where's that tunnel? I want to check out the tunnel. Ooh, that was quite a jump. I, I'm pretty sure I am a superhero. I mean, look at how fast I run. I can get hit by cars and have no problem, not a scratch. And I can jump off of giant radio towers and be totally fine. Just continue on my merry way. Pretty amazing. Let's see if there's anything inside of the tunnel, though. Well, first, let's check to see if there's anything on top of the tunnel. It doesn't really look like it. It's just a hill. Fascinating. Look at the topography of this hill. What am I even talking about? There's nothing up here, but there is a big giant beach. It's a nice place. Also, the moon, the moon, <laughs> the moon is enormous, is what I was trying to say until I said moon really, really weird. Hello, moon. You're glorious. Into the tunnel. Let's see. Any kind of secret access? No, nothing here. Just a normal, boring tunnel. Hey, can you take me to my, uh, my shop here? Can I just, oh, I can't ride on these cars. No, I can let them push me, right? Who needs gas? Oh, I, oh, I, I thought, I thought that, there we go, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna hang out with you, all right? Thank you, thank you for the ride. This is the weirdest Uber I've ever taken, I gotta say. Oh, we're done? Oh, oh dead, just dead, you didn't make it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, so clearly, uh, I should not be getting ran over by cars. Where's my gas station? I should go to the teleporter. I can just teleport straight to my gas station. There it is. Boom. Number three. I'm home. How, how's it going, boys? We making money still? Looks like we're making money. Not as quickly as we would be making money if we didn't have all these workers, obviously. If I did it myself, you know, it would go a lot faster. I'd be making money faster. But... I wouldn't be able to make awesome trips to the top of a radio tower or get ran over by a car inside of a tunnel. See? The give and take of capitalism. Man, I really wish I could build some of this more expensive stuff, but holy moly, $3.5 million. Are you kidding me? That, that's too much. That's definitely too much. But we can build more gas pumps, which I think we should do. And I don't necessarily need to man them or have, you know, someone working at them. I can just work these three myself. I mean, I was handling all of these before. I was handling them no problem. I thought I was doing a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Maybe gas stationer is my calling. This whole YouTube thing, this blows over. I know what I'm doing next. Ga gas stationing. Professional gas stationer. Can I put that on a business card? Because that's the only way I'll do it. He hello, sir. Hi Why do you look so weird? You look like you don't even look like you belong in this game. Who are you? Where did you come from? You're freaking me out, okay? You, you need to leave. 
Why are you standing on my customer's cars? That... Uh, I'm... I don't know. Do I need security? Am I gonna need security for this place? I may need security at some point. Let's get a jetpack before we end this episode, because it just seems awesome. Yes, please. I will buy the jetpack. Thank you. Jetpack. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, how how do I use this thing? I, I don't know how to use this thing. Please. Oh! Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I am officially a superhero now. Jump off giant towers, run super fast, and get hit by cars and survive. And now, of course, I can fly. Who doesn't want to get gas at a gas station where the owner of said gas station is actually a superhero? I dare you to go to another gas station. No one wants to go to a different gas station. Everybody wants to go to Kindly Kean's, what, what is even the name of our gas station? Kindly Kean's gas station. Very creative. But there you have it, guys. We've built our own gas station empire. And we could take it even further, but unfortunately, I am out of time for today. But maybe if you guys really like this, you can come back to it in the future. See what kind of shenanigans we can get into with the whole, like, pump, pumping gas and, I mean, gosh, spending millions of dollars on oil wells. That seems insane. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.